plugging in your electric car is one of those things that should be as simple as switching a light on. But while there is no way around the car park cable challenge, it is still fairly simple to do. The cables are often a concern. Most electric cars these days use a type two socketing cable, which allows you to use the vast majority of public chargers, including CCS fast chargers like this. A CCS plug that you'll find on many electric cars, including the e-Golf, Kona and I-Pace, will be able to use the 100 kilowatt rapid public chargers, like Tesla's superchargers, when they're launched from about 2020 onwards. Currently, there's no word on whether there will be a universal plug type for cars and chargers in the future, but Type 2 and CCS certainly seems to be the most popular, so here's hoping. Zapmap.com shows you what charger types are available at each point, so it's easy to check that your car can use a charge point before you get there. The other thing that you'll probably need is this. A lot of public chargers these days require you to sign up to an app so that you can pay for your charge, so access to the internet is pretty critical. How and where you actually connect the cable to the car depends on what car you've got. The e-Golf, for instance, plugs in actually where the conventional fuel filler is, like that. However, on a Renault Zoe or a Nissan Leaf, it's at the front of the car, so it does vary quite a bit. Plug the other end into the charge point and give it a moment for the charge to start. If all is well, there will be a light that probably turns green or blue next to the connection on your car. On the e-Golf, it's a little green LED light. On the Zoe, it pulses blue. You get the picture. Another good way to check that your car is charging properly is to see if the charge duration remaining is showing on the dash. Every electric car does this when it's charging, but the screen often goes off after a few minutes, so don't be alarmed if it's not showing when you look. Just hit the car's start button, don't worry, that won't stop the charge, and it should come up on the screen again. You can't drive off with the car plugged in, the car will just not allow it. Electric cars lock the plugs into place when the charge starts, so that no fiendish character can nab your cable or steal your charging post. So remember that to unplug the car, you must also unlock it. If you've got a dedicated charger at home, then of course the same process applies, except you don't need to sign up to an app and give ChargePod Genie Highway your mother's maiden name. All the better. One word of warning, if you decide to use an extension cable, be very careful. Most manufacturers recommend that you don't use an extension cable at all. But if you do resort to it, make sure that it's always fully unwound. Ideally, make sure that it's an extension cable that can actually cope with quite a high draw. Make sure that it's always kept somewhere dry and safe and never ever leave it unattended. Do check out our video on all the different chargers available as well. And for more electric car advice and reviews, go to drivingelectric.com.